Welcome to this video on how to set up a photo pro group collection or gallery collection. A uh, collection is, um, let's say you have multiple groups, uh, photo groups on the page, and they are of different subjects. Um, you can combine all of those together into a clean thumbnail group, and then each thumbnail will link to a different um, photo group. So for example, we have machines, people, food, and home interior uh, photo groups hidden on this page. But when I click on machines, I am just going to get cars, trucks, that kind of thing. When I exit out, I can now go into my people album and just see everyone that was, or every image that was a part of the people album. So it's a good way to have multiple different subjects, uh, photo groups on the same page uh, in a nice thumbnail order, keeps them isolated. Uh, so naturally, um, how this would look normally is this is without using a gallery um, collection. Uh, this is just, these are all the cars, these are all the people, um, these are all the people. Uh, this is my food album and here's some in home interior shots. It's basically a mess. So it's images all over the place but uh, the collections allows something like this to pop out at the end. So let's cover how to do this. So in edit mode, um, I'm using the batch resources for um, a few of these groups. So cars, people, and food are using batch resource images uh, to quickly import all those. And then I have, have manual um, images that I've added into stacks as well for the home interior shots. But as I said, as we go into preview, they're just kind of all sprawled out all over the page, all over the place on the page. So we're going to add an extra, I'm gonna type in photo. We're gonna add an extra photo group. And at the top, you have group settings and you can choose stacks, resource, uh, total CMS or collect. We are going to choose the collect option. This group right here is going to collect a representative thumbnail from each of the car, uh, each of these albums. So cars will have a single represent, uh, representative thumbnail and so will people and food and home interior. So, uh, so that's how uh, you set up that group. And these settings right here control um, for the uh, collection. These are going to determine how your thumbnails um, are gonna look for the collection thumbnails. Um, I guess, uh, let's set this up so that this makes more sense. Um, so for cars, I'm going to go to uh, thumbnails and hide. And then notice when we hide all the thumbnails, it's giving me new options. It says collect image. You can drag and drop an image and this image will be used to represent the entire group in the uh, collection. So um, I've added just a single image of a car and I've given it the caption of machines because it's you can call it whatever you want. And, and then I've also chosen to hide this image from the light box. So, um, so if I just preview this alone, um, now I get my, that entire group has been condensed down into the single collect image or uh, representative thumbnail. And I can click this and it will open the entire uh, photo group, which is really handy. So now let's keep adding to this. And also just real quick, the hide this image from the light box. Notice how when um, I click this, it I start off with a different image. But if I were to... Um, disable this, I can get this as the first image, but it's a thumbnail, that's why it looks bad, but um, you can put in a full size image and that'll work just fine too. So let's start adding the other uh, collections, uh, other groups into this collection. So I'm gonna go to, I'm clicking people, I'm going to thumbnails and I'm going to hide. And again, I've already added a uh, represent, representative uh, image here into the collect image area. And I'm going to do the same thing here for food. And I've already added a food thumbnail. And same thing for interior, I'm going to go to hide and I've added a collect image into here. Now you can kind of see more what's happening when we click hide. 
um, for images that were already added in Saks, like automatically these are getting just mass uh, hidden all at the same time. You can, however, um, hide them individually like this as well. You get all these, uh, this would do the same thing. But if you're looking to save time, I recommend um, just using the simple hide option in Photo Pro. So now let's look at this in preview. So now we have all of our uh, representative thumbnails right here and each of them links to its own collection. Super clean um, and easy to set up. 